Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nick from the Designs Academy, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video showing you the what I think to be the three best free alternatives to Photoshop. Um, all of these you can download. Well, one of two of them you can download. One of them is actually in browser. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, we'll go on to the first one, which is in browser. Um, this one's called Pixlr.com. Uh, I'll put all the links for these in the description, by the way. But uh, once you go to Pixlr.com, it'll pull up this page. Click Pixlr Editor, and we'll create a new image. And we'll just do that pretty big. And here we go. This is uh, just pretty much like a simpler Photoshop. You've got all your basic uh, brush. Um, a lot of these free programs have like a brush and a pencil. Photoshop kind of combines those two. Uh, we got a magic wand selection tool, paint bucket, gradient tool, all the stuff you need if you're, say, uh, you know, just starting on YouTube and you need some free software that you can create thumbnails in. Um, this is something that might suit your needs better than buying Photoshop because Photoshop is kind of expensive. But this is a great little program that's free. Um, this one I don't think you can install fonts on, which is one of the things that the other two programs have on this one. Um, because this is in browser not on your computer but that was the first program pixlr.com second program that we're gonna go on to um, may or may not already be on your computer uh, this computer is Windows 8 so it already comes on it I don't know I don't think it comes on Windows 7 but this uh, program is called paint.net it's like paint uh, if any of you remember that it comes on your computer and it has for a while this is kind of a bit of a better version on it has basically the same toolbar as uh, Pixlr. Pretty basic selection tools, brushes, all that crap. Um, and this one, you can select the font and you can download them onto your computer. So this is nice um, if you want to use some custom fonts. Um, I'll put a link in the description for a font website uh, if you guys want to download fonts. There's a really easy website that has basically all the fonts that I've ever used on it uh, and many 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 more uh, but it's a good website for finding new fonts all the time for each of your projects the last program is called GIMP now this is essentially the same thing as paint but just slightly more in depth this one has a better layer system and all that see all the some of the default brushes that it comes with here we'll just size up Another nice thing about this program is it has a lot of the same, um, a lot of the same shortcuts as Photoshop. For example, I'm holding the right bracket and it's increasing the brush size. That's something that Photoshop does. Some brushes that it comes with. Um, undo is the same as Photoshop. You know, just some, some basic stuff. Uh, it's another good program if you need something simple to make, like thumbnails or little, quick little pictures. Um, but yeah, guys. I would recommend getting GIMP. Um, these are all free, but I think GIMP's probably the best program that you can get for free as an alternative to Photoshop. I will put the link for all three of the or all three of the programs in the description so you guys can check them out and figure out which one you like best. But that is going to wrap up this really quick tutorial, guys. Um, comment down below what you want me to do next week. I'm going to be doing a drawing one probably next week, so comment that down below what you want to see. Also, comment down below what challenge you want Hayden and I to do for this week's vlog. We haven't really decided on one yet, so comment those down below. As always, guys, stay subscribed to the channel, or subscribe if you haven't already for more tutorials on graphics and all sorts of fun things, including, you know, editing and all, all sorts of stuff just involving graphics. Um, but, yeah, guys, that is about it. Um, I'll see you guys on Tuesday.